Hello everyone, how are you doing? Dax here and today we're going to be checking out another Cause Cause Art video, their newest one, which is called How to Terraform Mars with Lasers. That sounds bloody impossible, but let's see if it's possible. Okay, so it's going to be in transparent mode just because like my hands can like, it's, it's see through and that just because of the fact it might be copyright issues on anything, but it, it's not always the case, but just in case to save time. With, that's what we're doing. So if this is a thing and we can do this, are we going to do this before we send people to Mars? Because that, that is the real question, right? If we can terraform Mars, we should probably do that before we send people there. Because if they're there and we do it, it's probably going to kill them. So let's get straight into it. Or have we got to send people up to terraform it? <clears throat> and away we go. Mars is a disappointing hellhole lacking practically everything Ooh, we need right? to stay Jeez. alive. Okay. It looks like we'll only ever have small crews spend a miserable time hidden underground. Okay. Except we could terraform it into a green new world. How will we do that? The, the planet's problems, we first need to make it worse and turn it into oceans of lava with gigantic lasers. But isn't that dangerous this to us? This isn't a far science fiction tale. Terraforming kind of Mars like is possible on the kind of timescale our ancestors built great monuments in. If humanity solves some of its pressing problems and ventures into space to expand into the solar system, this yeah. may not be that far off. Okay, so how do we terraform Mars quickly? Well, yeah. it's complicated. We don't have the resources. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> ah, no better. Mars is dry and has no soil to grow anything. Its yeah, atmosphere yeah, yeah, yeah. is too thin to breathe or protect us from radiation, giving you a high risk of cancer. So to turn it into a new home... Wait! The fact that they said they, they found water on Mars at some point means there probably was life already on Mars. Imagine if we were the Martians that done this already, created the Earth, and then we just go back to Mars and do the whole thing. This is like our copy and paste system that we're always doing. I like and it. For humanity, we have to give it a proper atmosphere similar to Earth's. Yes, okay. It should be made of 21% 21 21 oxygen, 79% oxygen. nitrogen, and a yep. tiny bit of CO2, at an okay. average temperature of 14 degrees Celsius and under okay. one bar of pressure. Okay. We have to create oceans and rivers, and then the ground has to be weathered into fertile soil to host living things. Then we need to install a biosphere on the surface and prevent it all from being undone by installing protective measures that can stand the test of time. Okay, you said this is not far-fetched. We can't even do this with our own planet. How would you expect us to do it with another planet? It is difficult, but a big yeah. laser well, that's makes what I'm it a lot easier. Yeah, well. Challenge one, the atmosphere. Yep. Some four billion years ago, Mars had a nice oxygen-rich atmosphere and was home to vast oceans and rivers. Ah, that's what I'm saying. It held on to it for several hundred million years before mm -hmm. it got blown away. Ultraviolet huh? rays broke down the atmospheric gases and then the oceans uh, until they were swept away by solar wind. Today, you, Mars solar is wind. a dry, barren wasteland. Damn. Luckily, a sizable portion of the water is frozen in deep reservoirs and in the polar ice caps, enough to create a very shallow ocean. And enormous okay. amounts of oxygen are bound as minerals in the Martian rocks, like the oxygen in the iron oxides that give the planet its rust red color, as well as carbon dioxide in carbonates. Okay. To free these gases, we need to reverse the reactions that lock them away the gases, by using but... thermolysis, which occurs at temperatures as high as on the surface of the sun. In short, ah, we want to melt the surface of we Mars. Gotta melt Mars. The best way to do that would be to put lasers, lasers. in orbit, yep. their beams down on Mars. The most powerful laser today is the Eli NP, able to yeah. produce beams of 10 petawatts of power for a trillionth of a second. To kill to a robot duck! We need a laser twice as powerful that for runs the power of continuously. The, sun. the easiest okay. way is to use a solar pumped laser that can be powered directly with sunlight. Yeah. At its core are metal infused glass rods that absorb energy and release it as a laser beam. If we build oh, an nice. array of mirrors in space about 11 times the size of Jesus the United Christ. States, we can focus enough sunlight onto them to melt Mars. 11 times Let's the size of the United it. States, wow. As the lasers hit okay. the surface, about 750 kilograms of oxygen and some carbon dioxide emerge from every cubic meter of rock melted. If we are efficient, our lasers only need to melt through the top 8 meters of the surface to get enough oxygen. It would look okay. terrifying. The skies yeah. would be shrouded in storms, while the ground would glow red hot, crisscrossed by currents of lava. Tireless laser beams sweep over the landscape, leaving trails too bright to look at. 
After they pass, the ground cools quickly. Jeez. A strange snow falls. The ashes from all the elements that solidify as they cool down, like and silicon age. and iron. Mars is still a cold planet at this point. Hmm. A happy side effect of this inferno is that all the water in the polar ice caps and even deep underground rises right. into the sky as hot steam, forming Heat clouds rises. that rain down over the entire planet. Ooh. They would wash out the nastier gases from the atmosphere like chlorine and carry away harmful elements that accumulated on the surface. In the end, they would Causing form shallow, shallow oceans, seas. Ah. Than Earth. We might oh, need to do next why tell up afterwards. It would take about 50 years of continuous lasering to create our oxygen atmosphere. Jesus. We could use this opportunity to dig deeper in some places to create the basins for salty oceans or rivers and spare some landmark features like Olympus Mons and Valles Marineris. Wow. We're not done though. The resulting atmosphere is nearly 100% oxygen and only 0.2 bar. It's hard to breathe and very flammable. To make it similar to Earth and Ooh. a lot safer, we need to add a lot of nitrogen, which Mars is sadly lacking. We have ah. to import it. The import ideal it. source is Titan, a large moon of Saturn, covered in a thick atmosphere that's almost entirely nitrogen. We're gonna we get just there. have to move 3,000 trillion tons from the ah. outer solar system to Mars. While that's not easy, it is doable. No. Is to it? process that much of Titan's atmosphere, we have to construct giant automated factories on its surface powered by our lasers to suck in the atmosphere and compress it into a liquid. Right. This gets pumped into bullet-shaped tanks, which are mass drivers. This seems like a hell of a lot of work. Not gonna planet, where they explode and mix with the oxygen. Oh my We've god. We've already been able to send individual missions to Saturn in just a few years. With enough resources, it should be possible to complete the task within two generations. Of course, Two generations, sixty years. Jesus, wait, that's generation left over from that's terraforming good. Venus on the side. Wait, so thirty years is a generation? Wait, go back. It said sixty years, right? Yeah, time lapse, sixty years. So, t oh, okay, there's thirty years between every generation. That's something new I learned today as well. It would be much more convenient to have nitrogen left over from terraforming Venus on the side. We explained this in detail in another video. So, about a century after the start of the terraforming process, we have a breathable atmosphere that has the right gases. If the liberated CO2 isn't enough to warm it up to temperatures we can stand, we just add some super greenhouse gases. Mars at this point resembles a black marble from all the cooling lava, spotted with growing oceans and red patches where the old surface remains untouched. It's still a wasteland, no better than a desert on Earth. We need to fill it with life. Cactuses! Challenge 2 Biosphere. Installing a this biosphere is only part on two? a new planet is very <laughs> difficult. Unexpected mm. interactions between species or sudden diseases can destabilize mm. it to the point of collapse. We would probably begin okay. by seeding our young oceans with phytoplankton. Without competition, it would bloom rapidly, filling up the oceans to become the bottom of an aquatic food chain. Yeah. They can be followed by tiny zooplankton, then by fish, maybe even okay. sharks and whales. Jesus. If things go well, life in the oceans will thrive. Life on land is harder. Plants mm. need nutrient-filled ground to sink their roots into. But most of the surface is the congealed remains of lava and ash. We could wait for thousands of years for water and wind to grind it down into finer sands, or try to do it manually. But we want to be quick. Jesus, this is like a big laser. being a god. Turning the beam on and off in rapid succession would cause the ground to quickly heat up and contract, which breaks it into smaller and smaller pieces. Hmm. Add a bit of water and you get a sort of dark mud. Into this mud, we can mix fungi and nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Jesus. They're able to absorb nitrogen and convert it into nitrate compounds to feed plants. The first plants we want to bring are native to volcanic islands on Earth, since they're perfectly suited to the laser-blasted Martian landscape. True. Eventually, the enriched mud becomes the foundation for grasslands and forests. In Mars's lower gravity, yes. trees can become very tall very fast. Their roots gather the nutrients they need and then dig deeper to turn more rocks into soil, forming a self-sustaining ecosystem. Easy clap. At this point, we can slowly introduce more plant varieties, insects, and animals. It's only going to take about a thousand though. years. Pog. The new biosphere needs to be maintained <laughs> to prevent it from falling out of balance. Yep. If plants grow too quickly and absorb too much carbon dioxide, the planet yep. cools down too much. Uh... If key species die out, we could see populations collapse faster than they could recover. Yeah. On Earth, other species would move in to fill the void, but our Martian biosphere is not as flexible. It True. takes hundreds, if not thousands of years before Mars Jesus. becomes a stable environment. 
but eventually so the possible. planet will have the potential to sustain large human colonies. With air, water, okay. and food available, we can finally call Mars, black, blue, and green, our home. A giant Damn. volcanic island in space. Will it last, though? Challenge three, the long-term future. I'm going to say no, the way he said addressed. that. Okay. Mars's core does not produce a magnetic field, so it doesn't have enough protection uh... from solar radiation or cosmic rays. This becomes dangerous Whoa. for the long-term health of Martian populations. So, as a final step, we need an artificial magnetic field. Damn. It doesn't have to be huge like Earth's. It just needs to deflect the solar wind enough so that it doesn't touch Mars. Hmm. The easiest way is to construct a magnetic umbrella far ahead of Mars that splashes the solar wind to the sides. A big superconducting ring okay. powered by nuclear facilities is all it takes. It would orbit at the Mars-Sun L1 point, keeping it constantly in between the Sun and Mars and protect the new atmosphere. Mm. And that's it. Terraforming Mars okay. would take some work, hefty resources, and probably a century or ten, but it would be the first <laughs> time we've lived in a home designed and shaped solely by us and for us. A first step towards our future among the stars. The Pretty first sick. step that we can already take down here on Earth is learning more about the physics and biology needed for such a project. To help Great. you with that, we've created a series of lessons to build your fundamental understanding. I'm brilliant, of I'm guessing. Made in collaboration with our friends at Brilliant.org. Very good, very good, give very you a good. Deeper understanding. Make sure you check it out. These ads are getting longer and longer at the end, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead. But make sure you do check out the ad. Um, make sure you check out Brilliant. They've been a long time sponsor of Cosmos Art, and they are pretty good. So. Pretty good, pretty good. That was, that was pretty good. It, it was a long shot though. It's gonna be like, in nowhere near our generation, nowhere near the next generation. Maybe a generation after that, possibly if they decide to want to do it. But it's not happening. But it's possible that we can do it, which is kind of crazy. That's just the, the scientific theory is we, it's possible we can do it, which is kind of scary. It's just gonna take time. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment, would you like me to react to next? Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Laters.